ways. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of things, a couple of moves that you can do on a regular from home to help activate your glutes, all right? You can do these pretty much every other day or however often, you know, if you are doing them to failure, you're gonna build up a nice pump in the glute and that's ideally what you're supposed to be doing. You wanna keep going until you actually feel a burn, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you can do and then as you progress, you can start incorporating more aggressive type exercises for the glutes, incorporating more weight as well, all right? So stuff you can do utilizing your own body weight. First, I would start off with holding on to a chair. You can grab a chair, hold on to the chair. In this case, I'm gonna hold on to my pole, okay? Bring the leg out and back and then forward. Okay, you can start off with 12, 12 reps, and then from there, you can either go up, do it to failure, or you can isolate, which I'll show you in a moment. 11, and 12. And I'm gonna repeat and do the other side. So I want you to do those for 12 reps and build up your strength, build it up, build up that movement nice and slow as you try to rush through it, right? I didn't rush through it. Nice and slow, control, right? So out, front, back, side, front, back. Find your rotation as long as you're coming to the front the back and to the side, and you're controlling the movement through your hips, okay? All right, so the next is gonna be your kickback. So with the kickback, once again, you don't need to rush through the movement, okay? There's no swinging. We don't want you swinging, because you're swinging and you're swinging through the hip, which is not activating the glute. You always wanna squeeze through the glute. So in this scenario, because you're kicking back, kick and squeeze up through the glute. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see how my glute squeezes up. And I literally come in, I literally pull up, pull my knee in and up and kick. Do the other side. So let me just recap what I did because literally those two sets of different exercises, you can do those continually back to back, all right? You feel a nice burn. And as you progress, like I said, then start adding more, right? But you can start somewhere. And the first place is gonna be learning how to activate the glute. So again, front, sorry, side, front, and back. And control it, side, front, and back. Okay, don't rush through it. Don't half-ass it. Form, 
Stand nice and straight. Get a good grip on whatever you're holding on to, whether it's the chair, in my case, the pole. Side, front, back, okay? Side, front, back. 12 for each side to start, okay? Then the next one is your kickback, and you control it so we're not swinging through the hip. Control it all the way to the top. All right, so give those a try. Two different sets, seriously, try them out. Do them every day or every other day. Just keep your form right, right? Do it to failure, equal counts to each side. See how you feel and then start adding more into the equation. But you wanna feel the burn through the muscle. If you're not feeling the burn through the muscle, then keep going. That means your muscle can sustain some more beating, right? Your muscle can sustain more of a beating. So beat the muscle up, get a nice burn, chill for a moment, then do it again and keep doing that every single time you break that muscle down and then you fuel it and you break it down and you fuel it again. It can only go one way, stronger, right? And the stronger that muscle gets, the more power behind it. The more power behind it, the more weight you can put on it. The more weight you can put on it, the more hungrier it gets. The more you wanna eat, speeding the metabolism, helping you to lose weight, building this great muscle, forming this awesome shape to the derriere. That's how it works, all right? Do the workout and we'll do something else next.